Does it, is it desperation for Mayor de Blasio and his presidential ambitions with less than three weeks to qualify for the next big debate? He's also facing charges of campaign finance violations. In this case, desperate times seem to be calling for desperate measures. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has this. New York's Orthodox community is the latest target for Bill de Blasio's decidedly unorthodox presidential campaign, and it's raising eyebrows. In a last-ditch scramble to make it to the next debate, this fundraising request in Yiddish has been sent to members of the Satmer community, pleading for 10,000 people to donate one dollar, reportedly implying the support will lead to favorable treatment in the future. Sources telling CBS2 it's related to the fight over forcing yeshivas to provide secular education, and their mayor alleged reluctance to lower the boom. What's particularly disturbing about this plea is that he's cashing in on it, turning to those yeshiva leaders saying, hey, I've been here for you. Right now, de Blasio's chance of qualifying for the next leg of the Democratic presidential debate marathon looks grim. He has until August 28th to get at least 2 percent in four polls and have 130,000 donors. He had just 6,700 supporters in his last filing on July 15th. But that's not the only unorthodox move for El Desperado Bill. He also sat down for a one-hour interview with Fox News' Sean Hannity, the first Democrat to do so, hoping that the intense jousting would generate buzz. Can they have a gun is a simple question if they're law-abiding. Can they have a gun? You are trying to set up a reality where you get to paint a picture on your own terms. It doesn't work that way. You are dodging I and ducking and you're, you. you're flipping. All this as his honor's unorthodox fundraising scheme was challenged in a complaint to the federal election. Commission, the charge that he improperly used two PACs political action committees to bankroll his campaign. De Blasio and his campaign engineered effectively a shell game to allow a small number of wealthy contributors to support his presidential run with contributions that exceed federal limits. But what we found is that at least 25 donors gave nearly 200 percent in excess of federal limits. Well, a spokesperson for the Blasio 2020 said only that the campaign is reviewing the complaint. The campaign declined to comment on the push to lasso donors in the Hasidic community. The next debate is in Houston in September. We'll have to see what happens then. Now or never, right, Marsha? I think so. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Thank you.